Hello, I'm Sue Rose Minahan, host of Talk Cosmos, and this is my astrological commentary about the summer solstice. It is June 20th, 2021, and here in Kalua Kona, it's at 5.32 in the evening. And it's rethinking our partnership to release the very basis of our beliefs of what has constituted our systems of alliance. Astrologically, Mercury is retrograde, and I'll pull up that chart right now. There we go. Yes, it is retrograde, and it also is, it's with the north node in gemini it's at a t-square opposing the south node of course and collective past of our beliefs and that is conjunct the asteroid and goddess juno over here in the first house right there and it represents what we encompass as our alliances and partnerships in life and they're in a tension resolving square to chiron the wounded healer in aries involving our internal identity. So these energies, they connect to us rethinking beliefs, associating our alliances. It urges us to review the emotional foundation of our identity. Chiron in identity oriented Aries links to a connective sextile to Mercury, ruling the North Node in Gemini, where we think a thoughtful evaluation of what makes our alliances in our relationships. So we question what made us in our childhood. And remember that not only is the sun at the world point at zero degrees Cancer, and of course Cancer and Capricorn are our parental roles, and in, at zero point degrees of cancer, the sun stops to reverse its direction from the very north direction to the south direction in six months. And Sunday is also Father's Day here in the United States. It's celebrating. So these parental roles are being very illuminated just in our regular society with as a as as consciousness. It's rethinking our philosophy of opinions. And in doing this, it clues us in to realize how do we interact and communicate with others as its foundation relies on childhood experiences, because they work to restructure or to structure our beliefs in creating those alliances that create our roles of life, who plays what roles and what we do. And with what we personally feel we might be capable of becoming or actualizing who we might be to our very self. And these beliefs can be in relationship to the support we had or didn't have in our childhood. Beliefs can be altered. We can nurture what needs we had that we recognize from the past and in doing so, we can re-personify our stories, retelling to ourselves the story's complete truthfulness. The new stories, they activate our connections to this present world instead of looking at the past like a static, you know, memory, which it is. It's more like a weather vane. It has a compass that one refers to, but it's not certainly our entire existence. We're living now. And it's so important because the world, every energy in the world is constantly changing, offering, you know, um, an alteration of how we see the past. The summer solstice in cancer offers us to renew our emotional history and its stories that guide our solar consciousness, that sun orientation. And perhaps the sun's greatest gift is this reaching the zero cancer degree because it represents grounding into our emotional foundations 
resurfacing with our personal stories that we tell ourselves how we align to our partnerships and how we see our inner self that directs our lives. The sun at zero cancer makes a water grand trine this June 20th. You'll see it there with the moon in the 11th and Jupiter in the fourth, along with the sun moon. The sun trines Jupiter at two degrees Pisces and widely trines the moon at nine degrees Scorpio. But remember, the moon and sun are powerful luminous light influencers and Jupiter being the largest planet in the, is the planet of expansion. So this grand water trine has significant water orientation, deep, fundamental, emotional beliefs. The energies in all three astrological water urges us to go within, to fathom where we might be victims of manipulations through our own miscalculations of feelings besides other persons. It might possibly be feelings of beliefs resulting from our own confusion or um, evasion to accept truths, truths about our lives, truths about the people that worked with our lives, that we worked with our lives. Because then if we do see the truth, we have the empowerment to adjust our thinking and feelings and directions. And of course, with Mercury retrograde, it's all about adjusting our thinking. If we felt our emotional needs were unmet, was it because our childhood caregivers were incapable of recognizing someone else's needs that were different from their own? Creative needs, educational needs, for instance. It has to do with the mythology of Chiron and Aries of unrecognized identity. Is it okay to be me? We need to feel significant of what we felt makes our identity. We need acknowledgement through feeling validated with what we feel important makes our unique identity. And in doing so, with, because without any acknowledgement or nurturing, it results in feeling hurtful, loss, neglect, misunderstanding, and that may result in rejecting other people's viewpoints so that we may defend the establishment of our own opinions and beliefs. It's rather backward. So now with Mercury in commun of communication and thought, and it's conjunct our collective passageway going forward of the North Node that is in Gemini of new connections, we have this opportunity to reevaluate. The North Node in Gemini ruled by Mercury retrograde regards rethinking our thoughts and alters our interpretation of those childhood caretakers, seeing their limitations Recognizing our own needs is a gift that's offered through life's maturation process. And certainly every year when the sun returns to zero degrees cancer, it returns to that maturation process, that very personal point. Especially now too, as Mercury is retrograde along with four other planets, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and Neptune. Only Uranus is direct to say, hey, get on board. Let's get grounded in what's very authentic to your resilience of being, because Uranus is in Taurus. So based on accepting the fullness of the truths of our past experiences, we can reboot and purge what values no longer hold truth. And that's with Pluto opposite of Mars. But Venus of our resources and values and relationships is, well, actually, pardon that last comment, it is approaching an opposition with Pluto. It's not Mars, it's Pluto. And I took away the chart, so I got a little, thank you. Sorry about that. And the plot thickens, as you might say, or as Shakespeare said, because in that purging process, uh, it involves Saturn, the planet of structure, just separating from its second square with Uranus, 
was just a few days ago on the 14th, but it's intention all year. It's restructuring new from old. And on this solstice, Saturn's act activating an aspect connecting to Chiron, the mythological master healer, the wounded healer, the alchemist of healing, and the shaman of healing. And so these archetypal energies dispose us to reconsider reframing the structures with their roles, redefine what makes an alliance, what rules of conduct or ethics, what serves to keep us resilient in the face of eminent changes. So on a personal level, the, center, the sun entering the watery point in cancer, making one of the cardinal directions, zero cancer, opens us up to personally processing again a new story on our life and the world. It's a world point. It's a new story with a focus that serves to emotionally connect us with our truest partnerships for our authentic self. And how we think serves to direct our directions. So Talk Cosmos is a Sunday panel with the Moonbeam team this coming 20th. And it will explore further the summer solstice with Father's Day, the full moon in Capricorn and the new moon in Cancer. And all of this relates to the parent-child experience. So thank you so much for your interest listening. And please subscribe and connect with Talk Cosmos weekly. We have leading edge astrology conversations with panels and extra guest engagements. So thank you once again, you wonderful souls. Until again, in every wish for a sustaining bountiful summer solstice turning point towards our next path six months from here until the winter solstice. Blessings.